Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. In today's video I wanted to warn you that winter is coming. The New World Event Season 6 is on its way to bedazzle you with its white innocence. However, don't be fooled. Deep in this innocence sits a sinister motive. You asked for state merger, you got the aircraft feature. You asked for state merger, you got thrown into the Reservoir League Season 4. You asked for state merger, you got given the hero appointment feature. You asked for state merger, you got gifted with flash duels. You asked for state merger, you got given broken mining mayhem. Nearly one year later since the first announcement of state mergers, only 180 states has been merged, and we've all been promised that there will be more information about upcoming state mergers. Yet, State of Survival has opened its 1000th state, and here we are today with the schedule for World Event 6, Frostbite. As we all know, state mergers has typically taken place once a world event is over and prior to a new world event beginning. Separately, it never takes place during the Reservoir Leagues. Once world event and Reservoir League commences, the likelihood of state mergers taking place is pretty slim to none. I'm not sure the game developers understand the gravity of the situation. Many survivors have left the game because they are no longer interested playing in the same environment for over two years with a dwindling pool of active players. Many of us are witnessing our friends, members leave the community as time goes on. The number of spenders within the state continue to disappear, thus weakening the strength of the state. You can see clearly the drop in activity especially during state versus state event, where the area around the red zone is no longer fully occupied, and as time goes on many states don't even bother turning up for state versus state warfare event, because they have a point, why bother? This ecosystem is currently very unstable, and the remaining survivors in selected group of states are barely holding on with the hope of state merger being around the corner to motivate them again. If this is not delivered or communicated in the next week, I'm sure many survivors will agree with me, we will be saying more goodbyes to many more of our friends and members. So I asked the developers of State of Survival, when will you be open and honest to your community? When will you communicate to us of the next tranche of state mergers? Doing nothing is unacceptable. Saying nothing is unacceptable. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts? Nevertheless, now let me finish up with the rest of the video with this new look environment which some of you will love and some of you will surely hate. If you love it, then great. However, if you hate it and it's giving you issues, there is a pretty simple way is how you can toggle the weather effects feature on or off. Once it is turned off, the weather effects feature is disabled both inside your settlement and in the wilderness. You cannot have the weather effects feature for example only in your settlement but not in the wilderness. However, if they did give us this option, it would have been pretty sick. There is a new event that will be introduced during the Frostbite World Event Season 6, called the Warmth Event. There is a meter in your lab called Lethal Freeze. It indicates how dangerous it is to fight during the current weather, and there seems to be an opportunity to improve your buffs fighting in the wilderness by hitting certain milestones during the Warmth Event. The Warmth Event is not out yet, so keep a close eye on further updates. Now for the part many have been waiting, the Frosted Chill Frame will give you 2% defense boost, and the Winter's Storm Frame will give you a 2.5% defense boost. Both of these you can obtain in the Glory Store. There are another two defense frames, both with 2.5% defense buff, the Ice Crown and the Magmatite Baron, which is only obtainable through digging. Next the March Skin is called Scorpion Snowmobile with an 8% solo March Speed Boost. I mean another March skin called Scorpion, really? In the cold winter? Wacko Gorilla Snowmobile would have been a better name. Then finally let's look at the HQ skins. The normal HQ skin, called Boiler City, Steam, will give you 2.5% attack buff, whilst the advanced HQ skin, called Boiler City, Machinery, will give you 3.5% attack buff. The HQ skin in my opinion doesn't look that amazing in comparison with previous world events. The Frostbite World Event Season 6 will be for a duration of 10 weeks when it launches in your state. The first stage will last for 4 weeks, 
followed by the second stage which will last for four weeks, and finally the third stage will be for two weeks. As always, for F2P and low spenders, the first two stages tend to be busy with high and max spenders jostling for higher ranks. So, for F2P and low spenders, if you want to rank high during this event, save your materials and go all in stage 3. Then, if you are a low spender, I would highly recommend you to buy the Fuel Collection Race Epic Crate and Legendary Crates. If you are active throughout the duration of the event, I do honestly believe the materials that you would receive throughout the event outweighs the cost of unlocking the track. I do advocate only to spend what you can afford, but this is definitely a path I would recommend to anyone. Also, remember what the cat said, if you are still in the Amethyst 2.0 World Event Season 5, start saving your chips from now on. You can carry over unused chips over to the Frostbite World Event Season 6. Next I would like to share with you some tips and tricks when it comes to the station. You need to start thinking early on to ensure you are smart with your upgrade path. Ultimately if you are a rally leader, you should aim to unlock the SBS buffs, general buffs and the wall destroyer as soon as possible. Whereas if you are a rally joiner, unlocking the wall destroyer will be extremely helpful to your team. Well that's all folks, thanks for watching, if you like my videos, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.